Hey what's up guys, welcome back to this game tutorial. So today we implement a really simple regen function. So as you can tell the HP now goes up and this is based on our regen level. So if I just keep buying some more level, we are going to regen way faster as you can tell. So that's pretty much all we're doing today guys and uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so today we're gonna make sure that we actually have some kind of regeneration. So you see how we have this this um, HP bar down here? It goes down when we get hit, but then it never actually goes back up. So there's no way of healing our turret. And um, I mean, even though there is no way to heal our turret, we have a regen skill down here that is pretty much just made so you can regenerate your HP back. So that is what we're gonna be coding today. It's a fairly one, a fairly simple one again. And uh, we're gonna start by doing something that does not even relate to that, that does not even make any sense here, is we're gonna go up here and make sure we have some kind of reset function because I'm really tired of just, just going inside of the uh, regedit and then actually re just deleting my folder. So we are gonna go ahead and just make a quick reset save function. And um, it is going to be made right here so I'm going to double click on this debug.log so I can actually look at where we call this and over here inside of the menu manager so I'm gonna be coding something really quick here a little bit later on we'll want to have some kind of pop-up that is just saying are you sure or are you not sure but since we don't really have that pop-up window just yet all we gotta do is say player prep dot delete all but this is not actually going to work because if we do delete everything and then we quit the game the save is going to be called and then uh, it's actually going to be a little bit of a mess because the values are still inside of the tower now I think we have something called reload somewhere we don't have some kind of reload um, save data so what we're gonna be doing is there has to be a function here oh load local okay so inside of my tower script I will go ahead and just create something new so right about there a public void reload save data and we are simply going to call load local in here okay so now let's go back inside of the menu manager we are going to say dtower.instance.reload save data okay so we delete everything and then we reload everything using this clean uh, save and only by doing that we should now have a new fresh game so if I click here go here button we now have data if I start over again and I click on reset save then go inside of my game it is actually all wiped up so that's exactly what we are going for for this little reset function of course it's not finished we need some kind of um, confirmation do you actually want to reset your save and also we should also be able to tell do you want to reset your local or your cloud save alright so that done we are going to start coding that regeneration hit point function and it's going to be fairly simple we're gonna go inside of the tower script and um, just below the shoot function oh, around here we are going to make this a private void regen regenerate hit point let's open up the curly brace and we're gonna start coding in here so let's do if time dot time minus last region which is something we don't have just yet is bigger than uh, say we could be making this tick every 0 0.5 seconds um, okay so let's actually put these two values inside of constant and this one's of a private float I'm gonna go up here and just say private float last region now where is the region exactly it is around Oh, it's in the stat helper. Okay, so we're gonna need to make a new constant up here for the region. Private const float region tick, and we can say something like 0 
Okay, now let's go back inside of our function. We're gonna say um, if time dot time minus last region is bigger than region tick, then all we're gonna be doing in here is say hit point plus equal stats helper dot instance dot get stat value, and we're gonna get the stat dot region, and that is a region every five seconds. So what we're gonna be doing here is we can be doing um, divided by five. And then we're going to wrap everything inside of parentheses and then do times region.tick. And this way we should actually get the correct amount of hit point every 5 seconds. Okay, and just below this, I'll make sure we, didn't, we don't actually go past the max hit point. So if hit point is bigger than the stat helper dot instance dot get stat value, we're going to get the stat dot hit point. If it is actually the case, then all we're gonna say is hit point is equal to that. So I'm just going to copy this line and we should now be good to go. Let's also make sure we um, actually update this. So gameui.instance.update health bar. And we can finally say last region is equal to time.time. .time. And having done only this, we should actually already have something that's working. Let's hit play on this and actually let's do a lot of tests. So here is our level one tower with just level one everywhere. I'm going to send quite a lot of those guys and we should see this line taking every 0.5 second. Now of course it does not because we forgot to put it inside of the update. So go ahead and just double click on this. We're gonna put this on your clipboard. So copy, head over to the update and whenever we are in the game, we are going to regenerate hit point. All right, so let's try this once more. You know what, let's actually put some values inside of our um, gold. So I'm going to give myself that much gold, press play, and we're gonna be taking a look at this like with bigger values. So just going to boost, say the hit point a bit. And as you can tell, it actually goes up and then let's buy more, let's buy more region. So it goes up faster. Now, um, obviously we've got the little dot after that. I don't actually like having this. So what I will be doing is I will go back here, uh, modify my goal while I'm at it. And what we're gonna say is over, over on the um, update health bar that is inside of the game UI, we are going to say current HP to string and we're gonna give it the zero parameter like that and uh, let's actually do the same for the max HP by doing this our string should now be formatted so we don't have any decimal after it but the value behind the actual text stays in decimal and it should actually work fine so as you can tell it is now some nice numbers and we can buy a lot of HP we can buy a lot of region as well, it's going to take every 0.5 seconds. Well guys, that was a really short episode, but that's pretty much it, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any question or comment, you can leave them in the comment section below or on the Facebook page. Also, subscribe for more tutorials like these. So guys, thanks a lot for watching again, and I will see you in the next one.